another day, another incident at Wandsworth Prison. Medics and police through the gates to assist prison staff dealing with another emergency. It comes as two investigations are getting underway into the prisoner escape here on Wednesday. Daniel Khalif has now been charged over the breakout and is now back in custody. This prison, built in 1851 in southwest London, faces difficult questions over how he escaped on a food truck and what needs to change. There's additional uh, governor support, a former governor with particular uh, expertise in security, but also, out, as I say, out of an abundance of caution, around 40 prisoners have been moved to just while we get to the bottom of what took place in Wanza. That will slightly ease the overcrowding, but during a heat wave, a Victorian-era prison cell is hot. It's a sauna. Cliff Harper did time in Wandsworth after a road rage incident in 2017. They need to either one of two things, either pull the prison down and rebuild it, if that's what they want to do, because they've also closed other prisons. I mean, I believe from speaking to other inmates that have been to scrubs and other places, they're just as bad. So they're not going to rehabilitate anybody. There is, though, investment in building new jails and refurbishing existing ones. But the chief inspector of prisons says it isn't enough. It's not just Wandsworth, unfortunately. It's in many prisons that we're inspecting around the country where we're seeing uh, uh, prisoners sharing cells that were originally designed for one person in very cramped conditions. We're also seeing uh, th that putting an extra strain on staff, which means that prisoners aren't being unlocked to do some of the essential things they need to do if they're going to progress and stop offending when they come out. Ministers say that they have established that protocols, the rules about checking vehicles, were in place on Wednesday. But they haven't yet worked out if those rules were being followed. It's hard to believe that they all were. In fact, we've spoken to one former prison officer who says that they were regularly flouted as she was driving prisoners in and out of these gates. The latest incident here saw somebody taken away at speed by a London ambulance. Another investigation at this prison, which is already under intense scrutiny. Tom Parmenter, Sky News, South West London.